it was pretty intense. It was the, the scale was one to ten. That's how they always asked you to evaluate your pain. Uh, some days it would be three, some days it would be eight. The symptoms, the lower back symptoms continued to progressively get worse. I noticed that on the weekends I was fine and by Monday afternoon I was starting to have lower back pain again. It ended up progressively getting worse to where it wasn't, the pain wasn't alleviated on the weekends. I was starting to find that sitting was just it, so hard for me to sit. I felt so bad. I felt like I was letting people down. I felt like I had a wonderful employer and I had great friends that I worked with and great patients and I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye to the patients. That was hard. This is one of five videos made by dental hygienists for dental hygienists to help prevent work-related pain and disability. Many dental hygienists work in pain or know others suffering from musculoskeletal disorders known as MSDs. MSDs develop over time from overuse or misuse of parts of our bodies. They can occur in the hands, wrists, arms, shoulders, neck, and back. Work-related MSDs are injuries of muscles, tendons, joints, and nerves that are caused or worsened by trauma to a part of the body from work. The physically demanding work we do puts us at especially high risk for tendonitis, tennis elbow, carpal tunnel syndrome, and other MSDs. Symptoms of MSDs include pain, aching, burning, and stiffness. Swelling, redness, and limited range of joint motion are also signs that something is wrong. If the cause is ignored, occasional pain can turn into chronic pain, which does not get better with rest or over-the-counter pain medicine. Health problems from MSDs range from discomfort, minor aches and pains, to serious medical conditions requiring time off from work, medical treatment, or permanent disability and loss of employment. That's why it's important to make changes as soon as we feel pain. We take good care of our patient's teeth, but what about taking care of ourselves and our health? Preventing injuries by improving how we do our work is using ergonomic principles. Ergonomics, how we can change work to prevent discomfort and injuries and make it more efficient. In this video series, we address ergonomic issues for dental hygienists in four main areas. We can position our patients and ourselves so that we are comfortable at work. Using lightweight, comfortable, and sharp instruments can reduce the force we apply when root planing or scaling patients' teeth. Using our loops can improve our posture and reduce neck and back pain. Taking breaks and working with schedulers will prevent overuse of our hands. When we feel pain, numbness, or weakness, something is wrong. We need to pay attention and take action. We can take the steps recommended in this video series. If the pain continues, we should seek help from our dentist, consult an ergonomist, or see an occupational health physician. Work-related injuries make us eligible for workers' compensation benefits. I didn't realize myself other than the chair that I was sitting in, that uh, that the things could be different, could have been repositioned differently in the office. I just didn't have a clue. Now I do. Now I know what I would have done differently.